What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today a little update on Samsung One UI 4.0 beta. Um, today I'm gonna talk a little bit about the beta number two, which is actually coming out this upcoming week. Um, beta number two was originally supposed to arrive. Let me actually go back in here into the Samsung members app discussion here. This was originally supposed to arrive last week, but then this message that was posted in Samsung members um, by the official US beta moderator says that the second beta software update is going to be delayed until next week, which will be starting tomorrow on October 4th. Now, I don't know if we're going to see it right at the beginning of the week or later in the week, but we know it's coming. And of course, we'll have a full review video with all the updated features and bugs and things like that. But I figured I'd take some time to talk about kind of how my experience has been running the beta on my S21 Ultra now for a couple of weeks. We've been running for a while um, and then talk about some of the issues um, that I expect to be fixed. So first of all, here's kind of a list a full list of issues that have been updated continuously in the members app that everyone has kind of noticed. And then I'll kind of just talk about a few of the ones that I've noticed as well. Um, one of them is that uh, the navigation gestures, sometimes, you know, they're kind of finicky, um, working here or there. Home screen effects, kind of, you know, janky here and there. I've had that issue. Um, I've noticed another issue. This is actually related to the wallpaper. Some people say they get a wallpaper that's got a blurry background. Uh, for me, the wallpaper and uh, the icons are both supposed to darken when you have a dark wallpaper. You notice here, I have this nice Halloween wallpaper. Um, I've noticed that sometimes my icons won't darken, even though they're supposed to here at the bottom. Another thing that I've noticed, I don't have any notifications right now, but uh, I have dark mode on, as you guys can see. Um, sometimes a lot of the system notifications will still show uh, as a white notification, which of course is a little annoying. Um, that's a problem that I've had. Going back in here, uh, haptics are weak on the lowest vibration setting. I've definitely noticed the haptics aren't quite as the same as they are on One UI 3. Um, 120 hertz having some issues when using adaptive mode. I've definitely noticed that. Lots of people have reported that in the Samsung Members app. Um, I don't really use Samsung Health, so that's not one. Google Pay not working. This is a problem. I mentioned last time Samsung Pay was actually working for me, but Google Pay does not. I've also had the issue with logging into the Shop Samsung app on occasion. It's kind of, you know, finicky, it's inconsistent. Um, I use Gboard and Gboard actually has been okay for me, but a lot of other users have reported that it freezes. A lot of social media apps, not just Facebook, but also Instagram, a whole bunch of other apps have been freezing out and things like that. Um, Gear S plugin, I have tried pairing this up with my Galaxy Watch 4. So far, I haven't really had any problems with the watch working or the plugins crashing or things like that, but uh, obviously some other people have had this issue, so um, I guess this is a possibility of being a problem. Chromecast, I have had problems casting with this. Yeah, the volume controls don't work as well. Um, super fast charging is, is very slow. Well, super fast charging is already slow on the Samsung phone compared to most manufacturers, but I guess I don't really notice that because I really charge my phone overnight. So if I, if it's slow, I probably wouldn't notice. Uh, and then the other big one, YouTube freezes the, uh, in picture in picture mode. That's another issue that I've had as well. So I would expect a lot of these issues to get fixed. These are kind of the, you know, the big ones, especially like the, just the general lag and things like that in terms of you know navigation around the UI, that should get patched up. Hopefully any of the charging issues, hopefully some of these crashes with the more popular social media apps, you know, everyone's using the Instagram, the Twitter, all that stuff. So hopefully those issues get fixed um, pretty nicely in the next beta. The real question is, are we gonna see any feature updates or UI updates? One thing I'd really like to see is some of the smoother um, sort of animations that were brought to the Pixel um, on, on the uh, Android 12 beta. And of course, a lot of that has to do with Material U um, and, and Monet, of course. Everybody would love to see Monet come to the One UI 4.0 Beta 2. If I had to guess, the full Monet is probably not going to come until one of the later updates. Samsung has typically done, you know, it could be four or five beta updates before they release the stable version. So there's definitely a possibility that we could see Monet. Um, there's no guarantee, though, of course, that we're going to see Monet. And one of the reasons is, I kind of want to talk about this, you know, everyone wants the, the dynamic th color theming and everything throughout the UI, which takes the colors from your wallpaper. But one of the things is, is that it's actually the case that Monet is right now not completely open source in the Android open source project, which means the algorithm that Google uses to pick these colors out of my wallpaper and then do that dynamic theming with Monet 
that's not something that every other manufacturer can just pick up on, uh, in particular Samsung. They can't just take that algorithm and plug and play with their version of Android 12. Now, my good friend, Michelle Rahman over at XDA, where I do write about Android and Chrome OS again, I'll drop my link below to my author page. You guys wanna read some of my stuff over there. He did a really nice in-depth piece about Android 12.1, and he talked a little bit about the fact that uh, in, in Android 12.1, that is going to be opened up in open source so that Monet could then be plug and played with other um, Android makers, OEMs like Samsung, their versions of Android 12, and then it would be a little bit easier to do dynamic theming. So the thing is, right now, if Samsung wants to bring dynamic theming to settings and quick settings and all that other stuff um, on their version, then they're going to have to do a little bit of work themselves because, of course, they're going to have to kind of write their own algorithm to do that color picking, which isn't necessarily just a trivial thing to do because Google's put quite a lot of work into that. And the way they do it is quite consistent and quite nice. So because of that, it could be that we have to wait till Android 12.1, which who knows, because we haven't even got the regular Android 12 update with Samsung One UI 4. We may have to wait till the 12.1 update for Samsung phones before we start seeing the dynamic color picking. That's just my personal guess. I know a lot of people are gonna be disappointed by that, but there's still some of those smoother animations and things like when you drag, drag down the quick settings and things like that, and when you scroll through you know, your, your app drawer, that they could definitely improve some of those things, maybe bring that to the One UI 4 Beta 2, but I, I, my, my bets are not on Monet. I just don't think it's gonna happen um, until maybe 12.1, but we'll see, I could be wrong. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. These are some things that I think we'll see corrected. I just told you guys sort of the list of things I feel like we'll get corrected in beta two. I don't know that I expect to see any huge sweeping changes to UI or new features um, that we really know about yet. But of course, as always, Samsung might surprise us. Let me know what you guys like to see in the comments below. You can find me on Twitter. Also, if you wanna support the channel and you buy anything from Samsung or you plan to buy a Samsung phone or accessory, I'll drop my link below to all Samsung phones that I currently recommend and own. You guys can check out that page. If you use it, help support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see future videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.